So if you think Hillary Clinton is your person, if you're if you are now, Frank, I know you are planning on voting for Hillary Clinton, which is a mistake. I do. And you, so now you're backing a loser because, you know, Bernie Sanders does better in the polls. In fact, yes, I agree. He's 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 going to win in New Hampshire, which means it's guaranteed to win the nomination. <laughs> Is he being sarcastic? He's being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't need your goddamn sarcasm. <laughs> okay. So here, a couple of years ago, uh, she was with Chris Hardball. And I think this is 2007 when she was running the first time. And uh, he asked her about gay marriage. She gives the shortest answer to anything I've ever heard a politician give. Ready? Here it comes. Let me ask you this about some uh, domestic issues in New York State. This state's always the sort of the social beginnings of so much in this country. People come here, a lot of immigrants. The New York Times recently began posting the celebrations on the, of, of, of gay unions. Not just straight people getting married, but gay people who want to announce their unions. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. No. Okay. And that was it. That was her answer. Do you see how people oh, started so to... When, when was this, Jimmy, like a week ago or something? This was uh, this was in 2007 on Chris Hardball's college tour. Oh, okay, nine years ago. Okay. <laughs> well, I just wanted... You know, I, I made the point earlier in the show, you weren't with us yet, that uh, Bernie Sanders <laughs> has been on the right side of history since the 70s, right? Whereas Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. has been late to the right side of history consistently. As was, Ob as was Obama on this, and yet during the Obama administration, that's when uh, marriage equality happened. Because of the Supreme Court. So you're saying this is an unfair criticism? No, it's fair to criticize anyone uh, uh, for being for being against uh, gay marriage. But uh, uh, politicians like Obama and Hillary, they take positions that at the time they think um, will help them. Um, and so, yeah, that's worth criticizing. But what the real test comes is when they get into office, what they do. And, uh, you know, Obama and Hillary uh, do what they need to get into office, and then hopefully they, they, they make change happen. You, you mean know? like the Defense of Marriage Act? Uh, well, yeah, that was Bill Clinton. Yeah, the, def I'm not going to defend the Defense of Marriage Act, you know. Do you know whose words and actions have been consistent his whole career? Bernie Sanders. Who? Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. I, and, and I love his, uh, his positions, but... I, I don't think he's going to be able to govern when he becomes president. So it, I think you're more likely to get better um, uh, health care things happening with Hillary than you are with Bernie, even though he's uh, more righteous on that issue. Bernie Sanders is not going to go in front of this Congress as president. He's not going to make anything happen that he's talking about. Well, it's funny you say that because they actually call Bernie Sanders the amendment king in the Senate because of his ability to work across the aisle. And one of Ted Cruz's own colleagues said that he would prefer Bernie Sanders because of his ability to work with both sides and get things done. This is called well, beat up, uh, Frank. This is called beat up on Frank, the Hillary supporter hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Hillary Clinton I, uh, wouldn't know, actually I, come I, out. I, I she would say that I, she does you know reach what? across I, the I think, and, 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 you know, when I say that Obama uh, was had the same position as her on gay marriage and then uh, marriage equality happened during his administration, I have the same um, opinion of Hillary. She's, she's a, uh, a politician just like Obama, and Obama has many flaws that you can point to. And yet Obama is the best president of my lifetime. And so I, I do want someone who's going to be like Obama when they become, when they get elected. And Bernie, I would love someone like Bernie Sanders. But Bernie Sanders, first of all, he's not going to win the nomination. And secondly, he's not going to uh, be able to govern once he gets into office. Okay, I disagree with both of those points. I think that FD, uh, I think, uh, FDR had bigger opposition then Barack, Barack Obama, look how they were opposed to him. He got stuff done. You know, people also say That's that because... That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are practical politicians who are capable of getting things done. Okay. I, we're going to... Well, this is the disagree hour with you know, Frank But also, Cotton. people come out and say <laughs> that because when people are getting excited about Bernie Sanders, that he is going to inspire those people to come out to the polls, which will also decide other 
uh, positions of influence in our government. And so they just see, I, I don't know. I, you know, when I hear Frank say that he's not going to be able to govern, I don't know if I don't, I'm not convinced yet of that. I'm not hearing anything that people could also say contrasted. How is Hillary going to govern? Right. I mean, don't you think they'll well, be, just, uh, go ahead. I'm going to say, and what, what's your scenario for Bernie getting elected and making a uh, uh, single payer, uh, happen well i don't think single payer is going to happen I, I mean i don't think anybody uh -huh. thinks that's going to happen he released his mm -hmm. but, but but let's also just if we're going to talk about that let's just say hey i would fucking like a universal pet plan yes for would, our country well who wouldn't want that how is that a losing thing well i just think that bernie sanders if he gets in i think what he would be able to do frank is i think he would be able to expand medicare and that's mm -hmm. what I would like to see. I would like to see a public option. I think he would be able to- I don't how see, I don't see him making that happen with the Republican Congress and Senate. I, I just don't, how, how, does, how does that happen under any conceivable scenario? I think, first of all, I think there's a good chance the Senate might swing and Bernie might have some coattails. And uh, you know, the Democrats already got a million more votes in the Congress last election than the Republicans. It's only because of gerrymandering. Mm -hmm. Uh, that they have mm -hmm. control. I think that just like when FDR became president, you know, he'd mm -hmm. use the bully pulpit. He picked off votes because his ideas were so popular. And I think Bernie will get a lot of Republicans voting for him. In fact, Nicole- Oh, that is so naive. How can you say that? He's going to get Republicans voting with him? This Congress, this Senate, this House of Representatives, they're going to vote with Bernie on stuff? No, no, what I'm saying is that the rank and file Republicans, the voters, are actually burning. Yeah, but it's the legislator that's the, the and, and as you know, and as we've talked about a million times on this show, the 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 legislator, the politicians, the will of the people has nothing to do with with what they uh, with with what they do. If if everything in the Congress was based on the will of the people, uh, we would have single payer already. We'd have uh, the public option already. Um, all of these things, Medicare for all, all of these things are extremely popular. But the the Senate and the and the House th that doesn't matter to them. Gun control is very popular. Most people in the NRA think there should be some restrictions on buying guns. But that has nothing to do with what the Senate and the House. Um, it, are, are gonna what their agenda is. I think there's validity to that point, Frank, but that's true only when the people are not engaged. However, uh -huh. Bernie has galvanized a grassroots movement that can not only upend both the Congress and the Senate if they vote, don't vote the right way, but will continue to be engaged after the election if Bernie is uh, governing, and he will, like he says, it's not me, it's us. The people will lead. Bernie will just guide the way. So I think. Oh, that's very, that's very I idealistic, and it's wonderful. I just don't think that that's. I, I'm, like, I'm calling it right thing. now. I've I've called for Bernie like a, like for so for a year basically. I've been saying Bernie is has a chance, and I've been like beat up. Like six months ago, you guys laughed at me when I said this. You know what uh, I'm saying? I was on the podcast uh, getting, taking shit from Frank for saying that Bernie has a chance. And I stick I'm to my guns. At, I laughed at you then. I'm laughing at you now. Bernie has a chance. But, but Frank, <laughs> I was watching a Morning Joe Ball, and they uh -huh. had on Nicole, Nicole Wallace. Now, Nick, we know Nicole Wallace because she, uh, she worked in the uh, – where did she work? In the Bush, Bush administration. Yeah. So she said that she would rather – run against Hillary Clinton because she's in being investigated by the FDA. Uh, I, right now, she has all this baggage. Oh, that, that's what that she is said. Not, that, is, that is baggage that's the, the, the inside the beltway calls that baggage. We, we just went through six months of, of the beltway media talking about how the email scandal was going to bring her down, how Benghazi was going to bring her down. She's been around for 20, for almost a quarter of a century and has had constant so-called bullshit scandals that do that do uh, chip away at her and do have an effect but they're none of them are real and ultimately they don't affect her okay you get the last word that's it we're out